Well, here we go. Off to Killarney. Leaving Peter, bro. Leaving P. Dot. Here we go. With my main man, Polly D. Yo. Say hi, Polly D. What up? Word. So it's like 1:15 in the morning. We just pulled into Sudbury. Uh, this is Paul's grandma's house. You can't really see it. That's Paul there. Behind him is his grandma's house. Uh, we're spending the night here, and then up tomorrow morning, bright and bushy tailed, out the door, heading out to Killarney to start paddling. Just coming into uh, Johnny Lake now. We just picked up our permits, stopped by uh, the Outfitters just to see what we could see, and now we're uh, heading down the road to Johnny Lake at 1:30. It's a nice day outside, nice and sunny, little cloud in the sky, but a little shade never killed anyone. Got some nice forests, some coniferous and deciduous cheese mixed. Oh, it's not too too bad. Civic Miles has been doing pretty well lately. So here we go. It's where the journey begins. Johnny Lake. Beautiful day. No waves on the water at all. Pretty clear water. Pretty good day for paddling. It's nice to be on a trip with just two people. Usually we're used to guiding trips, but it's nice to not have to worry about other canoes and stuff and just worry about us. Got everything packed. One food barrel, two bags. Chat back at you when we're at the portage. Ciao. This is the end of Johnny Lake here. Portage numero un, number one. 750 meters, then a short pedal in Clearwater Lake, and then a nice 900 meter one, and then a short 100 meter portage to remind us what we're doing today. And then paddle them in David Lake, and we paddle our campsite, and ciao for now. Awesome. So here we are. Ended day one pretty much, just portage into David Lake. Nice calm day. No wind, pretty much. Just uh, lots of sun, little clouds, lots of water spiders, out. lots of water bugs. Good to see. It's a nice day. First portage, 750 meters, was a little rough. It's uphill, pretty rocky, but the the next 900 meter portage was pretty good. Can't really complain about that. And then we just had a quick, short little 100 meter portage that took us no time at all. Quite a few people we saw today. Probably uh, 10 or 12 people, which is usually a little bit unusual for our trips, but it's uh, good to see good to see how people are out and enjoying the park. So, uh, yeah, we're just heading to camp now, heading in to set up. Um, hopefully get one of the southern sites. Yeah, hopefully get one on the, on the way, right? We'd hate to be um, way out of the way, because um, that just sucks and would be a lot more work tomorrow or uh, Wednesday, no, whatever day we leave. Say hi, Andrew. Hello. We're doing a Cooking with Paul video. It's the Cooking with Paul show! We've got a small fire here. Um, we had uh, a little bit green wood, so it was harder to uh, cook with. And, uh, but we've got the, the grate nice and close to the, uh, the coal, so it's pretty, uh, pretty warm. And uh, we've got our steaks there. It was a nice flank steak I got marinated and wrapped that up all in uh, tin foil and uh, newspapers and all that and two different layers and plastic bags and stuff like that. So that stayed nice and cold till we uh, put it on. And here we've got rehydrating beans, green beans there. And uh, that's the first time I've rehydrated beans. I'm pretty happy with the result. They look nice and plump, and um, and here is a sort of this is actually a navy beans and uh, and uh, beef ground beef and uh, some other stuff that I just sort of whipped together at some point a few weeks ago and uh, thought it would be good for dehydrating and uh, originally. Andrew was going to have a potato, but he forgot a potato, so uh, we're going we're gonna to do that. And I was super hungry, so 
uh, this should be a good meal. Tongs are really useful for both meat and the coals on the fire. I also wear uh, these cheap gloves I got at Canadian Tire. That lets, they, they act like oven mitts, but, uh, you know, they're gloves, so they're nice and easy. Not sure what that noise is, but I'm recording to see if I can identify it. We got my tent over here, all this stuff still outside of it. And we got the fire pit over here with uh, lots of little logs to sit on for sure. Got some dishes water uh, heating up and the meat bag burning. That's uh, so it doesn't stink up our stuff as we, if we ever packed it out as I have done previously. There is Andrew's, uh, Andrew's uh, hammock. Got that all done up and just bought new cam straps today. Now this is where we brought the canoes in. Uh, there is actually another landing on the other side. And this is looking uh, towards the east, where we came from. And uh, lots of room on this landing here. Well, I'm here watching the sunset. I'm gonna be reading a book soon, taking some pictures as it sets. Andrew's out paddling on the water, absolutely still, just beautiful. Yeah, it's days like this that I love coming out here and just absolutely soaking up the amazing outdoors.